Have you ever just wanted to spawn a tree right in front of you in Roblox Studio? Are you sick and tired of going into Blender and making a tree and then realizing you need 500 other variants for your game? Or you're working on a project for another developer and they ask for 10,000 different tree variants? Well, I had an idea. What if we use the recursive fractal function to spawn any random tree that we desire with a click of a button? And that's what I did in today's video. Now stick to the end so I can show you how to get your hands on this script. And leave a like if you want more scripts like this in Roblox Studio. To start with this challenge, how do I even spawn a tree in front of me? I mean, how do you spawn all the branches, all the different leaves? It just seems like an impossible task. Well, I had AI to help me with this one. Jokes, don't use the AI, it's bad. I totally don't use it. Now, to create our trees, we use something called a fractal tree. Now, you might be thinking, what the hell is a fractal tree? What are you on about? Well, just listen up, because I'm about to tell you. A fractal tree starts at the branch, and it goes up and divides into two branches. And then it goes up them, and it divides into two more branches. And it keeps dividing out until it creates this massive tree that looks too complex to be even be a tree. Now you're probably asking, what the hell is this? This just looks rubbish. This is no tree. How does it go from this to this? Well, that's where the power of vectors come in. We need to convert our tree from 2D to 3D. Luckily, Roblox Studio has a vector 3 that allows you to use three-dimensional vectors. And to create our tree, we're going to start at the trunk and we're going to move up a certain amount of height. And then we're going to rotate and move another certain height. And if you keep doing this, it creates almost a spiral. Okay, but how does this look like a tree? This just looks crap. Well, this is where the recursion comes into it. What we're going to do is create our new branch, we're going to go back and create a new branch. And every time it splits off, we're going to split off on the other side as well using recursion. Now, if you don't know what recursion is, it means calling the function in itself. We're going to call the create branch function again inside of itself. So every time a new branch is created, it will create another branch. To stop it from going infinitely over and over again and deleting the game and basically crashing everything, including your PC and hard drive, all we need to do is add a base case to make sure that the length of a trunk is not less than two or however long you want it to be at the end of the tree and this will allow for the function to end now once we've done this we've got some sort of weird looking tree that doesn't look like a tree but actually finishes on its branches and doesn't crash the game now we just need to add extending branches off of the tree now what we're going to do is on the first two intersections we're going to intersect off in a new branch using our recursive function so instead of the tree looking like this weird wonky thing it's now going to look like this actual tree sort of shape and you can increase the amount of branches that come off of the tree but beware this could crash your pc recursion is bad for your PC because it is big O of X to the N. Now the X can depend on what you're doing with the recursive function but that is what it is so it's not a very efficient algorithm but it gets the job done. Once we program this you can see that the tree actually looks like a tree and it's actually very performant friendly because there isn't a lot of parts. Roblox Studio isn't killing itself like it usually does with every other program that you probably write. Now it almost looks like a tree but why is it looking like this? What is this? With a tree that actually looks normal the branches it decrease in size as they go further up the tree. It makes sense it's a branch. The tree isn't meant to be the size of the tree trunk at the top of the tree. I think that would defy all laws of physics. So the final problem here is how do we make sure that the trunk stays large while the branch decreases in size? For this we use bones. We can rig up our cube and we can place our bones in the position that they need to be in. This allows you to emulate different sizes of a tree trunk. Once this problem has been solved it creates this nice looking tree. However, there's no leaves. It looks like a cold winter day. And yes, you could want this for your game if you have a winter season, but why would you want that if it's summer? You're probably going to want some leaves on your tree, your newly generated recursive tree. So let's add some leaves. Where do the leaves actually get placed on a tree? It seems like a dumb question, but they're obviously at the top of the tree. So let's add leaves on the top of the tree. How do we get to the top of the tree? Well, in our recursive function, we can check whether we're three branches up or four branches up and place a randomly sized leaf object on that branch of the tree. And once you've done this, when you place the tree, it actually looks like a good tree. And it is low poly style, but every time you create a tree, it will be completely random, as you can see by this demo. It is very, very, very unlikely that you'll get an exactly the same tree. And by very unlikely, I mean barely possible. So this method is going to create you a new tree every single time. And you don't have to spend hours in Blender making 70 different trees. Now, if you want access to the program that I've used today, I'm going to create a plugin with this program. The plugin I'm going to give access to my Discord server. So if you're in my Discord server, you'll get to use this plugin. If you're not, please do consider joining. If you want to learn about more terrain generation or generational stuff in Roblox Studio, obviously subscribe and leave a like if you think you like this content, because I'll know that I need to create more. However, the trees actually turned out pretty good in this Roblox scripting tutorial, but that is how you create Roblox Studio fractal generation trees using a recursive algorithm. The comment from the last video that I'll be giving a shout out to today is by Minz, and he said, you're one of the best developers to make tutorials. You're still underrated. Keep it up. I know I'm a small channel trying to grow, so obviously subscribe if you're going to help me with that. I do appreciate each and every one of you that comment on the video, so if you want to see your comment in the next video, comment something nice on this one. However, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.